Welcome back, Team Fever. Back again with another. Well, y'all been watching the vlog this whole time, so I guess y'all have been here. But anyway, so I'm about to tell y'all about my experience downtown Detroit at the Arch. It's actually my second time going. Make sure y'all didn't know. Y'all should follow me on Snapchat at Lorenzo underscore U S O L O R E N Z O underscore U S O. Y'all won't be able to see it though because you know that was days ago at this point. But anyway, so the first time I went downtown, I actually went to the Arch. And I saw it and everything, and uh, I kind of just, like, it was, like, late, and the line was long. <laughs> I just made up a whole bunch of excuses on why I didn't want to go. I was down there by myself, too, and I just, I'm scared of heights. And that, that thing, like, I just don't understand how you get to the top. And then it's curved, like, really, like, if y'all look at the picture, y'all see it's curved, like, in a small spot. So I'm like, how in the world? Like, I just didn't want to do it, so I didn't. And... Uh, I wanted somebody else to go with me. So today I went again and I went by myself. Uh, everybody left um, on this trip. If y'all watch my day one, day two vlog, they're all gone except these new people that I met inside this other hotel. But their hotel is kind of far and I feel like they kind of just, I don't know, I'm like the outsider because I'm like, I'm, I was, I didn't come in with them and everybody that I was in a friend group with, they left. So I don't know. So downtown St. Louis, first of all, it's nice. It's not scary like people say. Like people think that it's supposed to be scary because St. Louis is such a high murder city or whatever, or crime city. I don't know about murder. High crime city and all that stuff, but downtown was nice to me it, like driving on the freeway going to downtown and you can see the arch and all the top but it looked really nice downtown st louis is, it looks really nice and something else about downtown st louis i know it's not like this inside downtown detroit where i'm from but downtown st louis there's like scooters all over the place and i heard about these scooters before but like they're just like all over the place and you just pick one up and get on it like anybody can just get on a scooter i think that's really nice that they got that downtown at one point, I did see a man pick up a scooter and put it in the back of his pickup truck. So I was thinking, like, do people steal these scooters and just give them away for Christmas presents? <laughs> or take them home? Like, how does that work? I don't know. But, yeah, they literally are laid everywhere. Y'all probably see that in my vlog. I never got on one because, I don't know. I just didn't. Uh, I, I think they're not electric or nothing. They're just a regular scooter that you just... They, they're just, like, a means of transportation for you down there. Anyway... So I went to the arch this time. This time I went right there, right inside, and I just, I bought my ticket. When I went to the line to buy my ticket, the lady said, uh, how can I help you? And I'm like, one ticket for the arch. And she's like, okay, uh, just one adult? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, okay, do you have a fear of heights, small spaces, or something else she said. And I was like, I don't like heights, but I don't like small spaces either, but I didn't. I was like, I don't like heights. She was like, the arch is pretty tall. Are you sure you want to buy this ticket? And I'm like, yeah. Y'all don't know I'm scared of heights. And I conquered my fear while I was out here. Not once, but twice. Because I went zip lining, which never in a million years did I even think that I would ever try that. I didn't finish the whole course. I actually got <clears throat> this because I finished the zip line. Well, I didn't finish it, but I did it. So... 30 feet is the highest I went, and I think the zip line went 50 feet high. Now, when it comes to, like, that way, it was, like, horizontal, it was, like, longer. But, yeah, I, I conquered my fear with that. I don't know if I'm going to include a video with that. I didn't vlog. I should have vlogged that day, too. But, anyway, to the arch. I said, I, want, I said, yeah, I can do it. So, she gave me the ticket. I went, <laughs> and, okay, so, y'all. First, when we were on the tour, going, you know, walking, 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 blah, blah, blah. He was like, all right, groups. So we had groups. I didn't have one, but I wasn't the only person that didn't have a group. And I know some of my friends, since they we had different shifts, they went to the arch and I know they didn't have a group. They went by themselves. So it's not awkward or nothing, but it was awkward to me. <laughs> so once we get in groups, I'm like, how are we going up? Because I guess you go up on the elevator. So I'm like, and I heard the elevator is like six minutes long. This is what I'm thinking at the time. So I'm like, am I about to get on this elevator by myself? Or is they go put me with somebody else? So when I get to the door, he says, first we all took a picture. He took a picture. I don't know what they did with that. I guess you can buy it or something. So she was like, or he was like, go to term or room three. So I went to room three. There was it was so dark inside this little walkway, like stairs. I think y'all saw it on the on the vlog. If y'all didn't, y'all maybe I'll put it up. I don't know. I might not remember. I might not edit this video. I have a bad habit of not editing vlogs. So, I go up the stairs to three. Thank God I didn't go have to go higher. 
So I get in three, and this these doors just like open, like pew, like, um, like a futuristic door. And it was just like this little circle. It was really small. So this is why I know what she was talking about with the small spaces. A small little egg with six seats. Or it was one in the middle, which is the one I sat in because I was I thought I was in there by myself. And then two boys came in with me, two men. And you know, I, I y'all seen that in the vlog probably, but oh my god. They shut the door. Zoom. Out of nowhere. We just sitting there. We just met. The guy said made a joke. Apparently it was a joke. He said, Hey, uh, I might puke. And I'm like, <laughs> at this point, I'm really scared. Cause this place is so small. And I'm like, what is we about to do? Cause it was no window except the one in front. And I was staring right at it because of where I was sitting at. And I'm like, are we just gonna be in this? And then we're just gonna be like looking out of the arch? I was scared as ever. And I asked the lady when she had told me about the heights. I was like, uh, when I went up, when I go up there, can I get back down? Like if I don't like it? She said, you have to be up there for a minimum of five minutes, which ain't true. So just to let y'all know. But anyway, so he was making jokes about how he was going to be sick and all this. I was being dead ass serious. And the other boy said, he, he, they could tell that I was like, starting to freak out for real because it was like the door had shut and i was like i don't want to do this no more i don't want to do this no more it was just coming out of my mouth but i was just like what the heck like is it no button we can press to stop and the other bro was like now i'm getting nervous because i know that he's joking but you i'm like oh he joking so i could tell that they like was like oh shoot he might actually throw up on us because that egg was small it was literally an egg not literally but anyway it started moving just boom and we just started going up and I'm looking at this window where I'm looking at stairs in this dark room. Cause I guess it's emergency exit, of course, right? Imagine walking up all those stairs, 630 feet. But anyway, oh my God, I feel like I was on a roller coaster. It just wasn't going fast, but it was shaking. Like, and I asked this lady like at my job, would you recommend the arch for somebody that's afraid of heights? And she was like, no, because it is a small space. It takes six minutes to get up and it does move if it's windy outside. I was like, what? She was like, yeah, it, it, it drifts a little bit if it's windy outside and you're at the top, which I can definitely see because the top, okay. So we moving up this thing for like six minutes. No, not six minutes. I don't think it was six. I think it was probably four. Four minutes, five tops. So we get to the top. It was it was scary. I ain't gonna lie. That thing was like, I don't know. It, and it was shaking. Like, I felt like I was on a road. Like, it was like, boop, boop, boop. you can hear stuff. Like, I don't know. And I didn't know. I At this point, I didn't know what to expect in this egg. I'm going to keep calling it an egg because that's what it looked like. In this egg, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what the doors were going to open to. I thought maybe it will just be some doors that will open to a window that we just go like this and look at. I didn't know. But I know there was other people in eggs around us. We were in three. So then we stopped. Well, first of all, we have been moving for so long and I'm freaking out the whole time. I can tell they're like, oh Lord, who is this? But anyway, so I we get to the top. Well, we once we get, and I keep asking like, are we at the top yet? Do you think we're at the top yet? One of the boys was like, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty close. <laughs> we have been going for a while. So then we finally the, stopped. We literally stopped. He's like, oh my God, I think we're at the top. They looked down on the window to see like the stairs, see how far up. And I was like, don't even tell me, don't tell me. I really thought I was gonna throw up at this point. Then all of a sudden just, pew, the door is just open. And we look out and it's a staircase, dark staircase. We go out and I see all the line, cause we're at three. There's a line, like a diagonal line of all the other numbers. So we go up and literally, I mean, it's hard to explain. Once you go up, that little like curve, that's how the floor is up there. And it's not big at all. It's really not big. The windows are really small. Y'all saw it in the vlog, I'm pretty sure. But, oh, and while we're on the thing, also one of the boys is like, my ears just popped. <laughs> and I was like, don't say that. <laughs> I was like freaking out up there for real. Like, then I, like my hearing has started getting stuffy or whatever, I don't know. 
But anyway, once we got to the top, it wasn't that bad at all. And I told them I was a vlogger too, so they didn't mind me recording. So when we were at the top, everybody was up there, and now you can just look down, and it definitely was not scary. I'm glad the way they do it, up to, uh, the way they have it. Another thing, when you first go in, it is like you're at the airport. You have to take everything out your pockets. You have to go through a metal detector, even your belt. It's literally just like the airport. Sixteen dollars for adults. I forgot how much it was for kids and all that stuff. But yeah, so at the top, it, it's like the airport up there too, because it's like flight attendants, but it's for like other people and not flight attendants. They're like arch attendants. And as soon as we went up there, and I looked out the window, I looked out one. The windows are really small. You have to get really close. And that's one another thing the lady said. She said, once you're at the top, you do have to lean over to see out the window. So you might not want to go. She was like really telling me the truth about a lot of this stuff. I really appreciate her. It wasn't like she was talking me out of it. She was just telling me everything to expect. She should have mentioned that elevator though, because I didn't know it was like that. Uh, but what, what was it? Yeah, so there's a lot of people, and literally I looked out the window and one of the flight, or not flight. There's a, a north side and a south side because the thing goes like this. I went in through the north. As soon as I went out up, looked out the window, the guy on the south side, the attendant, said, anybody who's ready to go down, I have spots on the south side or something like that. I'm like, dang, I haven't even been up here for 30 seconds at this point. And he already said, you can go down if you want. And at that point, I'm like, should I go down? Like, I was, I was, because inside the elevator thing, I was super scared. But at the top, I wasn't really that scared. It was actually like, and up there is so relaxing and soothing because they got like this air that's just blowing and it just feels so good. And it's like, it's so, it's, I don't know. You just look out the window and you see the whole like city. It's just, it's just, it's nice up there. Somebody even said, he was an old guy. He said, we should have dinner up here. And I was like, that's a good idea. Not for me. I wouldn't do that crap, but. If they set up something the like 630 feet or whatever, and it's like that, and you take that ride, and they just set up like a dinner, and that's private room like that, that would be nice. That would be nice. I, I can see people doing that a lot. And you can just have a, a seat right by one of the windows, and you can just overlook. Oh, my God. I should have went when it was dark outside. I would have probably been even more scared then. But, yeah. See the city lit up. That would have been nice. Next time, well, if I ever come back to Missouri, I'm going to see it with the city lit up. I want to see it with the city lit up. But anyway, so uh, eventually I went back down. Like, I waited a good while. They have, you can stay up there as long as you want. So $16, you can stay up there. You can stay up there all day. It's not really anything to do but look at the city and talk. I mean, you can have a conversation, get on your phone. You can do whatever, I guess. I don't know if your phone works. I don't know. Actually, your phone do work because I was Snapchatting and replying while I was up there. I guess it's not, uh, so when I'm inside the, on a plane, I never look out the window though, so. Anyway, so eventually I went back down, and going back down, I would say, was just as scary, but to me, when you go back down, you go kind of fast. You do go, <laughs> I'm saying fast, it's probably not fast to y'all, but it was fast to me. Like, you go down pretty quick to me. This video is getting kind of long, so let me hurry up and just tell y'all what I got. I went inside the Arch Museum too, in the Arch Store, y'all will see some of that in my, um, in this vlog, I don't want this vlog to be like 30 minutes long. It probably already is. But I'm going to tell y'all, show y'all some of the stuff I got. I got a lot of stuff. So, I got a couple of t-shirts. This t-shirt I actually didn't get from the art store. I got it from Walmart. Just a Missouri shirt. I bought like souvenirs for people. I got one of these. Uh, Y'all see what that says? Yep. Uh, just from the store. The, um, the art store though. I'm all not showing y'all the stuff I got from Walmart no more. <laughs> uh, this one is from some family members. I don't even think I got me one from the. Oh, it's probably this one. This. Actually, I don't know. I might have to buy another shirt. That. Yep. No need to see that. That was from Walmart. And I bought a lot of keychains. So, I got this one from the zoo. I went to the zoo while I was out here, too. I got this one. The Arch Museum and, the, like, the Arch Place is, like, full of, like, arches everywhere. Like, if y'all see in my vlog, they are literally everywhere. Like, keychains, shot glasses, 
there's little arch everywhere, like in the museum, like the art store had like shirts, like all these different shirts, hats, like arch everything. Um, I got a pen for my vest at work. This uh, I don't even know who I'm giving all these to. I just bought some souvenirs. Keychains are low key expensive, like six dollars for these. I would think two, four dollar, one dollar. There's so many arches and this. Um, oh, and the last thing I got, I like this. This is one of my favorites. So I got the little thing for when I went to skydiving. I mean, ziplining. I never go skydiving. That would never. I conquered my fears twice, but skydiving, I'm not doing. Now I'm filming this um, facing the other way with the camera facing my way. So I don't know if this is showing up right for y'all. But basically, I didn't read it. All I know is it says that. I've been to the top of the Gateway Arch. That's it. I didn't read all the other crap. Oh, Mississippi Riverfront. So, uh, that's what we could see out the, um, well, y'all saw it. I didn't sign it yet or date it, but I like this. I want, I really think that I'm going to get this framed for real. And I'm going to keep it inside my, uh. My house, maybe like on the table or on the wall. I like this. That was a good experience. Like, I never thought I would go 600 feet up like that. If you're scared of heights, I, somebody in there did say, imagine being up here on a rainy, or not a rainy, a windy day. Because on the sign, maybe I posted, it says that that thing do shake when it's, when it's, when it's, because when it, that lady at work, when I asked her if she ever been to her, she was like, many times. Like, she, she know what she's talking about. She wasn't lying. But that's it, y'all. This is my last day. This is my last night inside St. Louis. It's so bittersweet because I love it here. I've been here for three weeks, over three weeks. I've definitely, I think, and they asked me to stay another week. They did ask me to stay another week, but I told them no. Because I have vacation. That's the only reason why I'm, oh, I said no. And depending on how these vlogs do, if this vlog get like over, If it get triple digits, if it just get triple digits in less than seven days, then maybe I'll do a, a vlog for my vacation. I'm going camping. I'll go camping every year. Maybe I'll do a vlog. This this vlog gets more than triple digits. So, all right, y'all. This was fun. I can't believe I'm leaving St. Louis. This is so bittersweet because I, I want to stay, but I do miss my family back in Michigan and my life back in Michigan. Jesus Christ. How many keychains did I get? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. This is the one I got from the zoo. I don't know if I showed y'all that. So I got eight keychains all together. I don't know, y'all. I just, I'm so happy. This is, and I met some amazing people. Shout out to them, everybody I met. I met people from, a lot of people from Chicago or Illinois. A lot of people from Illinois. Obviously, a lot of people from Missouri, St. Louis. But some people who I'm training at Missouri, a lot of them are from Illinois. Like, I didn't even realize how connected these two states are. Um, a lot of, well, not a lot. A couple of people from Ohio I met. And Texas. I met a few people from Texas. And one person from Washington, my buddy Sky. I will never forget Sky. She was probably my, uh, no. Uh, they all were my number one buddies. <laughs> Especially when I got switched shifts. But this video is running long. Let me hurry up. But let me shout all of them out. Courtney. Everybody that helped make this trip so good for me. Courtney, Alana, and by the way, I don't feel like I was the only boy because this whole hotel, it was full of girls. I was the only boy. So if you hear a lot of female names, that's why. Courtney, Alana, Jasmine, Sky, Nicole, Erica, uh, who else? Natasha, Melissa, other Melissa, Adriana, Something like that. Um, I never called her by a real name. That's why. That wasn't shade. Um, who else? 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Man, I, I shouldn't even name names because now it's going to look bad if I forgot somebody. Ashley. There we go. Ashley. Um, AD was here, but I never seen him once. Oh, camera. Of course. 
Cameron, my friend from St. Louis that I never met until I got here. Uh, and then like the other people that I went to the casino with and uh, from the other from my new shift, uh, that would be D or Daz Days. I never know how to say her name. Jocelyn, Sam, Monica. And then there's people at work that I met that helped me have a good experience at work. So like Chris Brown, uh, LeBron, James. <laughs> That's not her name. Her name is actually just LeBron. Um, her last name is LeBron. Uh, Will, Jason, Randy, Shri, Savannah, uh, other people like Taylor, uh, shoot, who else, who else, Brian, Jamisha, I can keep this video going forever. I said I didn't want it to be 30 minutes. It's definitely past 30 minutes, y'all. I will see y'all next time. This video get more than 100 views. Or maybe I should do likes. I don't know, y'all. I am probably am going to just do a nice little vlog. I'm going to Ohio in two weeks. I'm doing this again in Ohio. So see me for those vlogs. I will see y'all later. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all have not watched Day 1 or Day 2, please do. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.